define or what is parenting in your viewpoint with your experience what it is mm -hmm. well parenting is the name of an attitude in which parents of course uh, need to nurture and nourish their children and as as a term generally applies it's it's uh, it's a bunch of uh, uh, attitudes or i would say a amalgam of attitudes which parents generally adopt in order to rear their children and at times uh, they do it naturally as if it comes to them naturally but i think that in this world of today it's it's a skill and it's an art that parents must learn and the best part to learn is actually when they are growing up they are not they have not yet become parents like for example when they are studying in a university or a college in the later part of their degree courses uh, something regarding parenting must be introduced at a formal level so that can, they can get instruction before they enter parenthood so in my experience what often happens is that uh, the time for parenting generally comes when parents have actually uh, lost charge of their children or uh, the children have gone away from them and they suddenly realize that they've done something wrong so it's generally too late and i think that uh, gaining experience from various episodes uh, it will be well in line that uh, all of us uh, pay heed to this very important subject because in my humble personal view the biggest investment which parents can make in this world is their children and there's no bigger an investment than their children and if they make a mess out of it then they should realize what a big uh, loss they have actually suffered and then what happens is that generally uh, there is an awakening in the later part of their lives and then they try to be better grandparents because being because they were, could never be good parents so sometimes i find parents becoming better grand grandparents because they realize that they did something wrong and they would like to make amends hmm. but having said that as i said the best part of or the bet or the right age for parenting is when parenthood is still a long way to go and you are still yourself maybe a teenager or a young adult and that would be the right time i would say but do you think that people do admit that they did mistakes as a parent well i have I, been well, conducting workshops and sessions all over the world and i do think that there are two types of parents mm -hmm. uh they are some parents who do realize and confess and they do think that something has been wrong and there are others who uh, because of their own uh, i would say uh, i would be slightly sorry to say that because of their own self righteousness they still think that uh, they are doing the right thing and uh, they don't realize that whatever they are doing is actually pushing their children away from them mm -hmm. and what they generally think is the children are on the wrong side so such parents uh, often think that they are right and the children have a wrong attitude and they are basically remnants of our uh, desi culture uh, especially the eastern culture because uh, in that culture as you would be knowing parents have a uh, virtually uh, dictatorial authority on their children and hence uh, they would still like to exercise this authority and because they themselves faced the same authority when they were growing up so what they do is that they just replicate the yeah. whole procedure and this goes on in circles and uh, yeah. it has till actually, you become conscious <laughs> either you become conscious and i've Or, seen parents unfortunately parents who never become conscious yeah. so this that's that does take a toll as well mm -hmm. that's true that's so my true. biggest uh, i would say dream was that uh, that the greatest force that we can become uh, as a global family i'm talking about a global family is that uh, if the next generation which is going to take take our place is empowered and is also given the proper guidelines of how they can become individuals who can really contribute to the society that they live in they they are not reactionary they are not uh, angry individuals as i generally see children growing up they have a lot of anger in them and in spite of being very supremely talented this anger gets the better of them and makes them lose a lot of good habits and abilities and they go waste so it's like a, a like a passion that if this talent is there in, in raw form and the thing is that it is just because of mishandling that that talent actually goes to waste so if something can be done to harness that talent uh, to make them better individuals in life to make them contributing individuals in life to make them thankful individuals in life and hence contribute to this 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 global phenomena and this global family so that we can all work as a as a global family for the betterment of this planet earth and live with peace and with comfort and with mutual harmony so that is that's what actually uh, always pushed me on and i don't know where this dream might take me 
because uh, I, I don't have the uh, I have never viewed the destination as as something which will be the end of uh, of my work because I think this is such an all embracing and such an extensive thing that uh, I'll just have to keep it keep it doing keep on doing it and perhaps even find a team who could with whom I can uh, do it in a more uh, comprehensive way. So the the task is just to forget about uh, what results or what the destination is and the actual thing is to expend as much effort as is possible to realize this goal. This will take me to your parents first now before I get into other questions that yeah. how was your experience from your parents mm. uh, sure. and has that made you into what you are or is that mm. a reaction mm-hmm. to what mm-hmm. they, <laughs> that you right. are? So actually I lost my father when I was just 14 years old and uh, i had a very good friendship with my father and a very very good relationship and fortunately it was a very short one mm-hmm. and uh, right after that actually my mother assumed this role of this this double role of this dual role of father and mother and i have two younger sisters and so she took care of us as uh, sure. generally uh, people in such age do they were, she was very very uh, very she sacrificed a lot and she actually lived it was like living for she your children she must be young then young she was uh, less than 40 oh, uh, that 39 is young. yeah, yeah that she is was young. very young and uh, so she she did a lot for us and made us realize that life is not all about uh, not, not all about material things it's about relationships it's about uh, love it's about affection it's about this uh, bond that comes into being between human beings and that's what we learned from her and mashallah she's still alive and uh, i live sure. with her she lives with me that's and very nice. uh, she has traveled with me all the way here to the us uh, and uh, i think i should herself, i should interview her sometime then <laughs> <laughs> so she herself is a missionary person oh, after okay. my father's death she that did a double masters Oh. in two subjects that he, she want, always wanted to do because of her early marriage she couldn't do mm. and then she is part of a, of a of a welfare project in Pakistan Lahore mm-hmm. uh, since the last 25 years in which they actually educate rural girls and women uh, they vocationally train them and they make they empower them so that they can stand up on their feet and do work so she's been with them and ever since she's come here it's almost a month now she is uh, itching to do something here as well oh, and uh, wonderful. she would like to do something as long as she is here Excellent. any volunteering activity so basically she's a she's a I, I call her she's a woman with a mission mashallah 